viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. El Chingon is back for another shave. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. God bless you all. For today's shave, I'm going to be using this new uh, shave cream that I have from GOF Trumpers. And this is called Eucharist. And this comes in uh, 200 grams. Wet, net weight, 7 ounces. And this is from... Uh, this is Perfumer. This is GOF Trumper 1975 Perf Perfumer Mayfair St. James London. Eucharist is a classic, both modern and traditional. The word is described from the Eucharist of classical Greek meaning of pleasing quality and elegant proportions. Eucharist shaving cream is distinctive and discreet. Distinctive with a discreet but memorable, memorable fragrance. A classic for modern men. And when I give a shout out to my brother uh, Juanito, for uh, he's the one that got me into this. He had showed me a picture of his shave tube that he has, and he asked me if I ever tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Eucharist, and I said no, but I did tell him that I had a sample. Sorry for the background noise. They're uh, they're playing uh, my fiance's daughter and, and her daughter family are playing in the living room. So these walls here they're paper thin and you can hear everything. So I'm sorry if you hear background noise. But uh, this is a sample of EDP that I have from uh, Eucharist, and I've never smelled it. I had it there in my stuff, and. Uh, when Juanito asked me if I ever smelled it, I told him, no, I haven't, and I have not used it, but I told him that I had a EDP somewhere, and I had to find it, and then I was looking through my stuff, and I found this, which is an EDP sample, a Eau de Parfum sample of Eucharist, and let me tell you, this scent is luxury gentleman scent, is what I describe this scent as, it's very masculine, and uh, I had as, as soon as I smelled the uh, the EDP, I was like, I gotta get this in the shave soap. <laughs> but I got the cream. It does come in the shave soap, but I heard the shave soap doesn't lather, so I didn't bother getting the shave soap. It does come in a wood bowl, and it also comes in a uh, refill puck, and it comes in a uh, tube shave cream, uh, much smaller than this. I believe this is the biggest size they have. This is the tub of shave cream, and I'm gonna be using this for today's. Shave. <laughs> Can't wait to use this. This is really masculine. I heard uh, 007 use that back in the day. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I heard about it. But it's a really masculine gentleman scent, and I like it very much. I'm glad that Juanito uh, intrigued me to buy the scent here because uh, it smells like a gentleman with a black suit, you know, and, and just you look rich. This is exactly what this is right here. But I'm going to be shaving with different something different today. Uh, you have not shaved with a single edge razor in quite some time. And I bought this razor here most recently. And uh, I thought I'd give it a go. First time on the channel. This is the Razor Rock Echo. And I have a couple razors that I want to use from Razor Rock. So uh, the upcoming videos will be uh, using uh, single edge razors. I'm going to take a break from... Uh, from straights and I'm gonna be uh, showcasing these razors here next couple of shaves so um, this is a Razor Rock Echo it's not gonna zoom in but believe me it says Razor Rock right here in Echo Razor Rock is a Canadian uh, uh, artisan that I first started off with buying their uh, shave creams and after shaves and I've always had love and always will have love for Razor Rock it's my first artisan that I ever bought 
ever started wet shaving. And I'm excited to try this razor. I heard it's aggressive. I don't know the point gap on this razor, but I heard it's aggressive. And uh, this takes half DE blades, which this is right here. I'm going to be using the Darby Professional. Sorry, the Zoom My Zoom sucks. But this, come. I have a box of these, and I think they come in 100 about I got about a hundred. No, I got, I, they come in a hundred. I got about about ninety some left, and I uh, I wasn't a cut off one of my regular DE razors, but I saw these, so I was like, okay, let me give these a try. I don't remember or recall how sharp these are. I think they're mild. I think they're mild blades, and I have not used the Darby Professional in quite some long time. I think the last time I used it one was I first started my channel. And that was when uh, I started this channel. But let me put this uh, DE blade here. I need to put it. It has some tabs there that fit very nicely, very easy inside the uh, top cap, as you can see. And then I got the bottom plate here. Now I'll be putting it on. And this is aluminum. Aluminum uh, steel or uh, aluminum type metal it's not heavy it's uh, very light but this is called the razor rock echo and I like the color there it's like a metallic green <laughs> very great looking razor in my opinion it's very light um, it's somewhat slippery so be careful if you have alum I recommend using some alum so you can get some grip I don't know where the hell my alum block is somewhere stashed in my too much stuff and i don't know where it's at so i'm just going to try to be cautious and uh, handle this the best way i can with my hands but it's slippery so be cautious like i was explaining the top part is grippy but as you hold it from the bottom it, it, it here on the smooth part it feels uh slippery so just be cautious all right you gris I'm gonna be using this uh, bowl here, wood uh, wood uh, walnut color bowl. Very beautiful bowl that Jason from the Razor Company gifted me when I was uh, sick with COVID. He sent me a care package, like a get well package, and uh, he sent me this my way. And I've only used this a couple of times, but it's a great bowl. It has a thumb, uh, well, finger rest here. You grab it, feels great on the hand. And it has swirls there, so you can lather your uh, soap with choice which is going to be the cream here. And uh, I'm going to be lathering this off camera, but I promise you I'm going to grab some of this soap here and be lathering it here in this bowl here. Off the top, just taking it off the lid, it smells mid-strong, the scent, and it smells lovely. I would highly recommend this scent here if you're, like, smelling like a gentleman, <laughs> like a classy masculine gentleman gentleman is the best i could describe this scent here and uh it's packed with cream here and uh i'm gonna grab some and put it on my bowl and i'll be back with y'all and uh share this cream with y'all stay tuned all right i'm back and i would like to say that the, the cream is messy because i didn't uh have a tool to scoop it out i did it with my fingers so it's uh kind of messy applying with your fingers you get cream all over your hands which is not a bad thing you're in you know uh the only reason why i'm saying it because i'm in my bedroom so but if you're in your restroom you, you know you just rinse your hands and you're good but i'm in my bedroom so <laughs> next time i think uh next time i use this cream i'll scoop it with something and just press it on my finger but yeah, it smells divine. It smells lovely. And uh, this is the mount that I put here, like a quarter size mount. And I'm going to be uh, lathering this right now. I got my brush here soaking in my mug, Chingon mug. Mendes El Chingon Shaves. I got two hats that are being embroidered with my logo. A uh, navy blue hat and a black hat. Which the blue hat's going to have the green, white, and red uh, logo on mine. And then the black one's going to be on the black hat with gold. So I can't wait for those. I actually got a call from Lids. That's the place I got it embroidered from. And they told me that they'll be ready tomorrow. So 
after work. I'm going to go pick those up. going to be using my Razor Rock uh, Barber Pole brush here. This is a dense 24 millimeter badger knot. Uh, it's not gelled. But the Razor Rock logo there. <clears throat> Hope you can see that. I'm not going to be laughing this right now. Never used this cream first time, so uh, my brush is damp. Let's see. I heard this explodes when you lather it. And uh, starting off, that's what I'm getting. I don't want to start off with a lot of water because there's been times when I eat bowl lather and I put too much water, I end up messing up the lather. But I'm going to go a little bit as I go couple droplets only in my bowl here and uh, I wanted to lather this off camera but I want to show you uh, what I'm doing here smells divine this scent here is exploding right underneath my nose and it's a, it's a pleasure to smell I really like the scent here. Uh, they do have the EDT in it and the EDP. The EDP is more expensive, I believe, is uh, uh, under hundred dollars, and the EDT it's under fifty bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and buy me the EDT as soon as I can because this scent is it's a must-have. Like I was saying, explaining earlier, if you haven't tried. GOF Trumpers Eucharist, you're missing out. If you're that gentleman or uh, just man that loves to smell manly, this is definitely a scent to pick up and consider. I'm a novice to a bowl lathering, but uh, I'm practicing. And uh, once I get it, pat down then like everything else then you know um i'll be better at it right now i'm a, I'm a novice actually uh remember when i reached out to my brother juanito and i asked him if he had any tips on me bowl lathering <laughs> and uh he gave me some i just forgot it's been a while since we talked about that but uh basically i believe he told me just a, a little bit of water goes a long way just keep working until you have a nice lather and uh, this is what I got right here to start off. I can keep working this, but it's mostly on the uh, knot here. So uh, it's very creamy. It was bubbly at first, but uh, now it, it turned out to uh, the bubbles went away. So it's ready. Wow. No straight razor today, so the shave is going to be uh, a single edge razor shave. But so far, I'm liking this cream here. It's very easy to work with. Didn't give me enough. Uh, any issues on that right now? And I was, like I was mentioning, this scent here is about... Uh, I would say a seven and a half cent strength. It's very bold when you open up the, the tub and, uh, and smell it. It's just banging with fragrance. Let me add a little bit of water to this. A little bit more. I hope everyone's doing well and I appreciate everyone stopping by and checking me out on today's video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. It really means a lot to me. And uh I like seeing y'all's comments and uh great positive vibes for uh for me and I truly appreciate it. 
All right, I think I have enough lather here. Beautiful, my brush is caked and I got enough in my bowl as well. All right, Razor Rock Echo with the uh, Eucharist Shave Cream. I got about three days growth on the face. Here, let me apply a little bit more on here on the side. All right. This reminds me when I shave with this razor and when looking at this razor, it reminds me of the Razor Rock Hawk. Just the razor head smaller. As you can see, the shave cream is medium density on the thickness. And it seems to be shaving it off my thick ass growth up here. It's uh, clogging up my razor though. My son's here is in the background. He's uh, waking up from his nap. But uh, so far, so good. I think I did use a sample of uh, the Rose, Geo Trump or Rose. I believe it's on my channel. If I find the link, I'll put it down below. Well, that one was like a uh, a harder soap. This one's a cream. I could feel the slickness of the soap. It's great too. Very slick soap. Cream, I mean, excuse me. And this razor feels great. It's uh, it's gliding through my face, so that's good. That's a good sign. Took that a uh, couple of days growth right off with that uh, dirty blade. Let me get a rinse here. beautiful scent I like the scent very much I remember when I smelled the EDT I was like immediately I gotta buy me this shape so thank you Juanito I really appreciate you brother I got more creamy hair on my ball, so just want to get what's left over my brush here before I apply, before I apply more. Hope everyone had a fantastic Easter. Uh, I had a great Easter. Unfortunately, my son wasn't here. He was with his biological mom, which took him away from me on that day so I didn't get to spend that day with him which I was very sad that I couldn't spend time with him the plan was for her to uh, come pick him up from 4 to 8 but she ended up keeping him and didn't even tell me that she was keeping him which is the worst part of it all you know beautiful cream here though I apply like about a quarter amount of cream. Maybe I put too much on there. 
but I didn't want to put very little as well neither and not get a good lather. But that quarter amount of, of cream worked out great. Very nice lather. Hope it's coming up on the camera. The creaminess that this uh, cream provides. All right, it's up here on my neck. We'll call it. Still got enough for maybe two more passes. Pass two against the grain with my Razor Rock Echo. So far, it's providing me a nice shave. Feels weird, weird to me because I usually don't shave with DEs much of these days. It's very rare when I do grab a DE, but I saw this one on the BST and I saw a black one before, but I didn't end up. Oh, yeah. That's very close. I didn't end up getting it, but then I saw this green one here and it caught my eye. It was just very green and. Oh, it's like if I didn't get the other one, I'm gonna get this one. And I ended, I did end up getting it for twenty dollars on the BST shipped to me. Plenty of slickness. The soap is providing me. So far, no cuts as well. I thought this razor was going to be aggressive where it's going to cut me, but so far, so good. No cuts yet, as I can see. As you can see, the soap is uh, leaving me a nice layer of residual slickness. I gotta try this blade, uh, this razor here with different blades to see which one that works out best. But so far, this Darby's doing a great job. Great buffer too. The razor here. Don't be afraid to buff. Oh, I do got a weeper there, but it's very small. I got a pimple. So I wonder about pimple. Damn pimples. <laughs> Another one over there. Like I was mentioning, my razor is clogged somewhat, a little bit, not very much. But because I don't have a sink, I have a bowl here and I'm just uh, trying to rinse it the best I can. But uh, it's getting the razor out. It's, it's clogged from underneath the bottom, but. I don't have very much water here in this bowl. If I had more, maybe it would unclog um, the bottom part. But uh, still providing me a great shave. And uh, getting a final rinse right here. Plenty of slickness left over, like I was mentioning. i take care of those sideburns right now. Overall, high quality shave cream here that I highly recommend. For me to you, <laughs> I got a baby but smooth shave, exception with those weepers there. Two weepers, but right here, I gotta go over. Everywhere else, so baby but smooth.
Oh, I did press a little too hard right there. Press right there too hard on the side, so I got a uh, weeper. That's my fault. But other than that, baby butt smooth shave. Once again, I'm getting coarse hair right here. Hear that hair? But uh, it's a great shaver right here for under 20 bucks. I recommend it, like I was mentioning. Um, I do got to try it with other uh, blades to see which razor works out best for me in this razor. But uh, I will share with it again. So, very close, very baby butt smooth shave. I don't hear, feel no hair. Well, a little bit right here. Very efficient razor, though. It's, it is, I would say, it's mid to mid aggression razor. A little bit, a little bit over, ooh, a little bit over, uh, medium aggression. Oh yeah, I got myself pretty bad right there. <laughs> Let me go get my, uh, stick thick pencil, which I do have right here. A little stick thick will take care of that bleeding weeper there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And this big thick here, it burns. <laughs> okay, let me see this. Apologize for that cut there. I just needed to stop. This works great. It already minimized the bleeding, as you can see. And uh, I highly recommend one of these. If you don't have one already in your den, go get one. They sell it at the drugstores. Like a CVS. I know Walmart carries them as well. And minimizes the bleeding. It stops the bleeding. But let me wipe this down. This is the travel size. I ended up wanting to get the full size one, but they only have the travel size. So I ended up getting the travel size. But uh, there, my, chin is, my shave is done. And this was a uh, Eucharist shave cream, which provided me an excellent lather. Those cuts there were my fault for uh, pressing too hard on the handle. But uh, I would say use a, a lighter touch. Have a heavy hand. And sometimes I forget that I'm... Uh, sometimes I forget since I use a straight razor so much you know that I forget that I'm shaving you know sometimes with what I'm using that makes any sense but yeah light pressure on this one here and uh, providing me a baby butt smooth shave I don't have no hair whatsoever on my face and it feels great the shave cream, sh shave cream post shave feels excellent to me and I use my uh I think Goodfellas is the Goodfellas is the brand of the shave bowl here, which my brother Jason uh, provided me with, with a near very nice care package that he sent me when I was sick with COVID. Thank God I got through that. I don't recommend COVID for no one. COVID sucks. Use my Razor Rock, uh, barber pole, with the 24 millimeter Badger hair knot, providing me a nice lather, and uh, use the Darby blade in my echo razor razor rock echo and i do got this i ended up going to buy the skin food here this is skin food from eucharist and this is the aftershave that they have i don't believe they have a alcohol based aftershave not for this particular brand but uh, i must try to see what this takes me and uh i believe it's enough look at yeah it's enough Oh, wow. Oh, very classy gentleman like scent. I feel like a million bucks right now. This is how this scent makes you feel. That absorbed very well on the face. 
Let me get a little bit more from the neck. Oh. And uh, yeah. So sorry for the longer videos, y'all. I know you all, probably y'all don't want to feel like watching 30 minute videos, but I try my best to knock out these videos as fast as I can. Sometimes I do talk a lot, but that's me. But I appreciate it. This feels very nice, the uh, skin food here. This is G Geo Trumper's uh, skin food, which I don't believe it contains alcohol. Let me see, glycerin based. Alcohol it does contain alcohol. My bad. It contains a little bit of menthol. I didn't really feel the menthol though, to be honest. Some other skin ingredients there, but it absorbed very nicely. My face is very soothe, soothing. Not tacky. Feels great. Moisturized. Take care, everyone. God bless you all. And I highly recommend these two products here that I used. Well, everything that I used today, I highly recommend. But I love the soap here. The shave cream, I mean, and the uh, Eucharist shave cream uh, balm. Pair very nicely. I'm going to get that EDT. <laughs> Thanks to Juanito. Thank you, everyone, for uh, watching me. And uh, God bless you all. Take care once again. See you later on the next shave.